Hey there, Libra. Welcome to your reading for July 18th, 2024. Welcome to Shredding La Belle Tarot. I hope you guys are doing well today. Just keep in mind, Libra, that this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, so this message may not resonate with everyone. Just take the parts that do resonate for yourself and leave the rest for someone else to appreciate. Also keep in mind that my readings are timeless, so it doesn't matter when this reading comes across your platform, whenever it does come into your energy is whenever it is meant for you, okay? All right, let's get right into it. Please be mindful, there's gonna be four loud sounds while I clear the energy really quick, okay? Clear the space, clear the energy. Well, that wasn't super loud, but you could hear it, right? <laughs> That's how you know Baba Jolie been doing this for a while. Let me do it one more time. One more, one more, one more. Try again tomorrow. That'll be all right. She just does that stuff with confidence. Boom, clicks every single time. All right, Libra, I hope you guys are doing awesome today. Let's uh, get a little dive in here, see what spirit has for you today. I hope you guys are doing well. My name is Caleb, and I'm going to shred the bell, okay? Spirit guides... God, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael, show me the cards that I need to see for Libra today, please. Show me that Libra energy. Show me that Libra energy, por favor. Show me the cards that I need to see for Libra today, please. What's up with it? What's good with Libra today? One, two, three, four. Let me get one more four, please. One, two, three, four. All right. Snap. 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 Okay, so in the past here, Libra, you have the Tower card, okay? Um, so we're definitely going to have to clarify this as a major arcana here, but there could be some kind of Tower moment that is happening in your life. The Tower is a shock to the system, okay? Something that is unexpected, usually very external, okay? Um, this is Aries and Scorpio energy. Some of you might be dealing with an Aries or a Scorpio, possibly. You might have these placements somewhere in your chart. Um, this is just usually something that is very big, external, something that is very noticeable, usually. It doesn't always have to be bad. Sometimes it can be a very good thing, okay? So let's clarify this past situation for you, Libra, and see what's going on here. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, show me the cards that I need to see, clarifying this past situation for Libra, please. One, two, three, four. All right. Ace of Pentacles, Temperance. Eight of Wands in the reversal. Okay, so it seems as if, um, you know, overall this looks like a good tower. You have the Ace of Pentacles, which is a new opportunity that is coming in for you. It could be a raise or a bonus or a gift or a refund or something like this, something to this nature here. Libra, okay, Ace of Pentacles usually is a card that will lead to the Ten of Pentacles, which is stability, happy family, happy home life, and it also represents generational wealth. You have the temperance card, okay, which is balance coming into your life here, okay? Something is being balanced out with the temperance card. This is Sagittarius energy. You might have Sagittarius somewhere in your chart. You might be dealing with one, okay? Let me read the temperance card because I haven't actually read this card in a long while. A couple of people have asked, this is the book that I read by Dusty White. It is called The Easiest Way to Learn the Tarot Ever. I used this book to learn what the tarot cards were, what they are. Um, I don't always read it as the definition from the book anymore. Usually I'll use my intuition at this point, but you can put the cards together. And if you want to get a baseline of what the cards mean, it'll be in this book for you. Okay. There's the temperance. Okay. It says teamwork works. Not, none of us is as smart as all of us. Properly blended energies make magic cookies. Success is a recipe. Failure comes from any number of deviations in that recipe. Too much salt, not enough baking time. Draw together your resources and use them to teach your success. Do all of the above until exhausted and then rest. Start again when you are refreshed. If time is short, split your team into separate groups so that activity is ongoing but no one is overtaxed. Note this card blends two major meanings into one overarching message. Do correctly, okay? So, uh, I always read this card as something coming into balance, okay? But this could mean that you're getting some kind of um, help or um, some kind of pulling together resources and energy from someone in order to be able to help you out in one aspect or another. 
Now you do have the Eight of Wands and the Reversal, which is a card of delays or things not working out the way you want it to. Let me read the Eight of Wands really quick. Dun, 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 dun. It says stagnation or missed opportunities, not being able or ready to take action when fortune calls, canceled plans or vacations, inconsistency in action, reckless action taken without adequate forethought, alternatively scattered and wasted energies, it paired with any sword card, but especially the Seven of Swords, this could indicate an ambush or even a call to retreat. So, I don't know, this feels kind of split because you have the new opportunity coming in with the Ace of Pentacles and then the uh, Eight of Wands in the reversal, which is stagnation or missed opportunity. So, now for some of you, it could mean that there was an opportunity that came in, but for one reason or another, you might have missed the opportunity, okay? You might have missed the window, so to speak, or something like that. Um, let's clarify what's going on for Libra here in the past, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. It could be also that for uh, someone here, Libra, it could be that you have some kind of balance coming into your life and some kind of new opportunity that comes in, which may, which makes someone else feel like they missed an opportunity in your energy. It could feel, it could be that as well. Okay. Take it as it resonates. Feel free to reverse the roles as needed. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. All right, let's see what's going on. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you clarify this past situation for Libra today, please? Show me the cards that I need to see. One, two, three, four. Let me get one more. One, two, three, four. All right. Four of Swords in the reversal. Four of Wands in the reversal. Page of Pentacles reversed. And the Ten of Pentacles reversed. So this looks a lot like a family situation possibly okay um it could be with your like immediate family or someone that you wanted to have a family with or someone that you thought you were going to have a family with possibly uh with the four of swords and the reversal this is someone being restless this is basically a card of continuing despite dire stress or refusing to rest and recuperate now four of swords is libra energy okay so it could be here at libra that you had a new opportunity coming in at one aspect or another but for whatever reason you might have been pushing yourself too hard and you might have missed an opportunity that came in okay but it does look like someone feels that they missed an opportunity with you that is kind of how it looks to me with the ten of pentacles reversed and the four of wands reversed uh ten of pentacles reversed it says problems insecurity failure, slothfulness, dullness of mind, and instability, okay? It could be someone that is possibly older than you. It doesn't have to be, okay? You have the four of wands in the reversal, tension, turbulence, anxious, unprepared, hurried, and insincere, okay? Which kind of gives me the vibe here that you might have, like, I don't know, met up with someone. You might have had some kind of interaction uh, with talking to someone over phone or text message or something, and they felt that you were being ins insincere in one way or another, Okay, like they felt like you just don't care. Okay, you have the page of pentacles reversed. This says wasteful dissipation of ideas, unrealistic, blocked, inactive, distracted, irresponsible, and greed, which means that someone sees you overall as someone that is greedy. Okay, you could be younger than this person. They might be younger than you. Take it as it resonates here, but it looks, looks kind of like you're showing up as someone that is younger. Okay, let me get two more cards for Libra in the past, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, show me the cards that I need to see. One, two, three, four. One more four, please. One, two, three, four. All right. You have the King of Swords and the Reversal and the Three of Wands reversed. Yeah. Um, I don't know. You might be older than the person coming out as a King of Swords in the Reversal. Uh, this is, if I'm not mistaken, this is a patient man with a cruel, calculating mind, criminal mastermind. Let's see. A patient man with a cruel, calculating mind, criminal mastermind, or ringleader, iron-fisted iron -fisted tyrant, or dictator. You could also be surrounded by someone that is mentally manipulative here, and they're just popping out as a king of swords, or it could be that they're perceiving you as this way. Okay, you have the three of wands in the reversal, which is possible sabotage by a team member of a project early on. Make sure that everyone's doing what they're supposed to do. Okay, um, three of wands also states quit complaining about lack of progress and do something, okay? I don't know, you know, it's kind of a weird energy here. What I'm getting mainly here, uh, Libra, is that you're dealing with someone that sees you as someone that they wanted to like have a happy family, happy home life with, and they feel like they missed that opportunity because you had some kind of new opportunity that came in for you. Uh, some kind of balance was brought to your life and now um, 
someone's going through a tower moment, okay? And I don't think that it's you. It looks like it's someone that you're dealing with, okay? Some of you, it might be you, so take it as it resonates. You would know if you're going through a tower moment. I'll tell you that right now, okay? In the present, you have the Page of Cups in the reversal, okay? Page of Cups in the reversal is depression, unhappiness, okay? Uh, it could be someone that feels like they're having some kind of writer's block type of deal if you're naturally a creative person and either um, artistic, uh, like painting, drawing, singing, dancing. You could be feeling like you're having a little bit of writer, writer's block if this is you, okay? Clarify this present situation for Libra, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, show me the cards that I need to see. Clarifying the present situation for Libra. One. What is going on here? I don't belong here. Clarify the present situation for Libra today, please. I don't know. You could be wherever you're at right now. Could be feeling like you don't belong there, okay? Because um, I just had that song randomly pop into my head, okay? <laughs> that part of that song i don't even know the name of the song okay gosh what is that song oh yeah like i'm a creep i'm a weirdo what the hell am i doing here i don't belong here something like that okay i haven't heard that song in a long time i don't even remember who sings it so Excuse me while I get the dog hair out of my mouth. <laughs> what the world, bro? Clarify the present situation for Libra, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, show me the cards that I need to see. My thing is, I'm just wondering, did it fly into my mouth while I was talking or was it already in there? I don't know. Okay, this is like, well, show me the cards that I need to see for Libra today, please. One, two, three, four. There we go. Queen of Cups in the reversal. Hermit reversed and the Eight of Pentacles reversed. So... Some of you could be dealing with a um, water sign or an earth sign, possibly. You might have water or earth somewhere in your chart. It seems as if here there's some kind of unhappiness based on having to push yourself to be social to people whenever you don't want to. This could be something to do with a job or your job with this Eight of Pentacles and the reversal. It's like something is not working, okay? Um, it could be that you're putting too much energy into one aspect of your life here, Libra, and it's making you unhappy. It's like you know that that's what's going on right now, but for one reason or another, you're unhappy because it's not working, okay? Something's not working the way you want it to. Let's clarify. Excuse me. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you clarify the present situation for Libra today, please? Show me the cards that I need to see. Clarify this present situation. Clarify the present situation for Libra, please. One, two, three, four. There we go. Turn it up just a tad too loud, I think. Ace of Wands in the reversal. It's like a false start. Chariot reversal. The lovers. Hmm. Eight of Cups reversed. All right, this is two different storylines, Libra. For some of you, you are uh, feeling stuck in a job dynamic, okay? For others of you, you're feeling stuck either on a person or stuck in a love connection, possibly. Uh, could You know, you have two different cards here. One, the Eight of Cups and the Reversal. And now I'm reading this, uh, the, I'm, I'm explaining this or giving the um, information from this deck, okay? So like the other cards... Different cards have different meanings. That's why it's very important to try to build your intuition as much as possible whenever you're doing tarot. That's for anybody that's trying it or wanting to do it or whatever. That's what I recommend, okay? Because when I first started, I only knew what two cards meant. Basically, only one, okay? So, you have the Eight of Cups in the reversal. This one says temporary success. And then the Ace of Wands in the reverse says a false start, okay? So, and then the chariot and the reversal unsuccessful confusion okay there's a lot here about like boom boom okay <laughs> so, does that make any sense boom boom all right you get like one step forward and it's like two steps back for one reason or another now traditionally the lover's card is a card of a fork in the road okay you have some kind of path to take here and right now i feel like you are really looking at this fork in the road that you're at right here libra okay and you're feeling very stuck, okay? You're definitely feeling stuck in something with three, all right, um, you have the Chariot in the reversal, Ace of Wands in the reversal, and the Eight of Cups in the reversal. So you're feeling very stuck, 
okay? It's a lot of stuck energy here. So it seems as if, holy snap. It seems as if right now, Libra, there's some kind of decision that is going to have to be made soon, okay? It's, it's popping out in your present energy. For some of you, you might you might have already made a decision in order to help you get unstuck from some kind of situation here. For others of you, there's a decision that's going to have to be made, okay? Um, it, this could also be that someone is stuck on you, Libra, in a romantic setting, or there's a lot of emotion here that, is, that has been unresolved. Uh, it could be that you feel this way towards someone else. It could be uh, love dynamic or a love situation that you feel a lot of emotions about that you are not expressing or you know the eight of cups in the reversal is someone that you already feel a lot about so it could be a past person all right possibly but it doesn't have to be okay you have six seven eight right here okay you have two three four okay three four five two three four five two three four five six seven eight <laughs> so you got a lot of uh synchronicity here in the past you have two three four five and in the present you have six seven eight so I would say uh, that you are on the right path in one aspect or another, okay? It may not feel that way, but you're having to really like see things for the way that they are, okay? Right now, the reason that you're having to see things, you're like pulling your energy back and seeing it because you're feeling stuck. So you're trying to find some kind of solution because naturally that's what we do as humans, okay? I'm surprised we don't have the Eight of Swords here, okay? Because I'm feeling the Eight of Swords energy. Eight of Swords is a card of like self-imposed restriction. There's always some kind of path that you can take, all right, but you're feeling like there's no way to go right now, okay? So you're having to choose something with this fork in the roads, okay? You're at like some kind of very critical point in your journey, Libra. Let me get two more cards for Libra in the present, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Five of Wands, okay? This is a card of, um, usually it's arguing. It says, learn to take life as it comes, both positive and negative, okay? Um, that makes me think of a quote, uh, not everything that's good stays good not everything that is bad stays bad okay or what is good or what seems good isn't always good and what seems bad isn't always bad okay so something about that is significant you could be arguing with people around you or um, realizing that you're on two different pages with someone let me get one more card for libra in the presence please holy spirit holy angels what is with the ads in this video dog what's with the ads in this video because that's like like a lot of ads that I've already had to skip and it's supposed to be like a lot of video. So we get one more card for Libra in the present, please. Holy spirit, holy angels. One, two, three, four. There we go. Two of pentacles. Okay. Something is being balanced out. All right. Or you're seeking some kind of balance right now. It might be balanced out. Okay. Or you're, it says find balance in your life to build your success, which is what I feel like you're doing here. Okay. You're looking for some kind of balance Libra. So there's some kind of, how many days have I slept with that under my pillow? I have a Oracle deck that I've been sleeping with under my pillow for the past, I don't know how many days in order to put my energy into it. I'm not going to pull it yet. I'll wait. I'll probably wait till next week. Okay. Let's, let's look at the future. In the future, you have the death card in the reversal. Okay. Death card in the reversal is stuck or stagnation. All right. In one aspect or another feeling stuck. All right, let's read the death card in the reversal since it's been a little bit. It says stagnation, refusal to let go, holding on to outdated ideas and a boring life. Okay, clarify this future situation for Libra, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Some of you might be dealing with a Scorpio or someone that has Scorpio somewhere in their chart or you do. Clarify the future situation for Libra, please. Show me the cards that I need to see. One more four. One, two, three, four. All right. Eight of, <laughs> I literally was just talking about the Eight of Swords and the, well, I was talking about it in the upright. It's coming out in the reversal here. Okay, you have three major arcanas and the Eight of Swords in the reversal. Okay, now this is giving me two different energies here, Libra. Um, I honestly don't know exactly how to feel about this. It looks like two different people. Okay, one person is feeling stuck and stagnant. Okay, the other person is getting free from a situation with this Eight of Swords in the reversal. Okay. Now, this could be also that you're feeling stuck and stagnant and you're deciding to get free from a situation with this Eight of Swords in the reverse soul. Escape or release from anything that has been holding you down so far. A chance for freedom is coming and re-entering society. Okay, you have the Emperor in the reverse soul, which is someone that is a bad leader, someone that... Uh, fails to lead someone that is not very good at what they do okay tyrant dictator rude bully i think it's something like that because i haven't read the emperor in the reversal in a long time okay 
Let me see the emperor in the reversal, please. It's way up at the front. What am I doing? Okay. Tyrants, dictators, corrupt public officials, vastly overpaid bosses, also overregulation of a situation, micromanagement, abuse of power and authority. Okay. Now this could be possibly you're dealing with an Aries um, that is like this, or you could be dealing with someone in your life, like a either a boss or a parental figure or someone that like like this in your life that is like this that you're getting unstuck from okay something about this person or this situation with a person that is like this for you libra is making you feel stuck and stagnant you have the hangman okay which is a very good card this means that you're looking at life as positively as possible okay you're getting a new perspective and looking at life positively okay Clarify this future situation for Libra, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, show me the cards that I need to see. Clarifying this future situation for Libra. Show me the cards that I need to see. One, two, three, four. Let me get one more. One, two, three, four. One more four. One, two, three, four. All right. You have the six of wands, nine of wands in the reversal, seven of wands, and the four of pentacles in the reversal. This, some of you definitely deal possibly with a, you have Aries, um, Major Arcana, you have Scorpio, you have Heavy Leo and Sagittarius, and then also Capricorn. You have a lot of different signs here, honestly. So who knows, but um, with the six of wands, it says you have earned every one of your successes, okay? And then you have the nine of wands in the reversal. It says frustrated, defensive, anxious, obstinate, delay, and disaster, okay? Nine of wands in the upright is a card of almost getting a victory, okay? So in one aspect or another, you're being held back because of someone that doesn't see your worth. Every single one of your successes that have come in for you, Libra, you have earned it, which means that you've put in the work here. But uh, someone isn't really recognizing that, okay? They're not really recognizing the fact that you have made it through every obstacle that has been placed in your path. It could also be someone that tries to cross your boundaries, okay, on one aspect or another. The Seven of Wands is a card of people or a person that comes up against a person who holds the high ground, okay? It says there may be challenges ahead, you can face them, okay? So there's something here about, so this is my card of people trying to cross your boundaries. You've already set boundaries and now they're trying to cross it, okay? So you may be having to let go of someone or something in the future here, Libra, because someone's trying to cross your boundaries, okay? This is, uh, yeah, let me, I'll show you. The Four of Pentacles in the reversal is something, in the upright, is something holding on tightly, okay? Usually it's to finances, but in the reversal, you're losing something, all right? You're someone, you're dealing with someone that is very materialistic, okay? It says greed, materialism, lack of originality, possessiveness, and obstacles, okay? Could be someone that is possessive over you or something to this nature. I don't know. I don't know, Libra. Not super happy about it. I can tell you that because it looks like a lot, I'll be upset. Let me get two more for Libra in the future, please. This way I know I wouldn't. I'll just do what I need to do. Okay. <laughs> Clarify the cards. Clarify for Libra in the future. Can I get two more cards for Libra in the future, please? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Show me the cards that I need to see. What's good with it? One, two, three, four. All right. The Hierophant and the Reversal. Five of Swords. Yeah. You have someone that's trying to either continue to have some kind of control over you or wants to have some kind of control over you in one aspect or another. This is Taurus energy and Aquarius energy. You, we, you have all the signs here. It could be any sign, basically. The Hierophant is a card of, um, usually it's a card of someone that follows tradition unquestioningly, but it can also be a card of a foolish exercise, wavering, contempt, vulnerable, and unorthodox, okay? So, so <laughs> that's why I say, you know, it depends on the deck that you use. And in the, in the uh, Rider Waite deck that I read by, the book that I read by Dusty White, The Easiest Way to Learn the Tarot Ever, this book, it says following tradition unquestioningly, and then here it says unorthodox. So <laughs> you might be doing something that is unorthodox as far as moving forward or letting go of someone or something that has been holding you back for a little bit of a time here. Libra, you got that five of swords, which is sometimes the victory is not worth the price. So you could be doing something in your energy right now in order to gain some kind of victory or help someone out or something like this. But sometimes it's just not worth the price is what it's saying. Okay, it says selfishness, conflict, aggression, argument, fear of failure, self-sabotage, and anxiety. Okay, so, all right, I'm done with this one. Let's go, man, done with the woods. Let's get the fuck out of here. Okay, we're not doing that.
can't stand it whenever it accidentally turns the wrong way. It drives me insane, okay? Um, I'm gonna get a Mystic Red Rose card. If this is a person that you're dealing with, this should give you some indication on who the person is here, Libra. Clarify this future situation for Libra, please. The Five of Swords is a card of someone that is a bully or aggressive or someone that has a big ego. All right, let me try to assert their dominance or some shit like this. Clarify the future for Libra, please. Holy Spirit and Holy Angel, show me the cards that I need to see. One, two, three, four, all right. Self-indulgence. Okay, it says self-worth self -worth and value, time to heal, shadow work, and self-appreciation, okay? So this would, you know, self-indulgence sounds bad, but in this aspect, Libra, this would be a card of you needing to look inwards and be there for yourself, okay? Uh, which means stop worrying about other people and what they have going on, okay? And maybe trying to help them or anything like that. Let me get one more for Libra in the future. Who's a person? If there's a person popping up in here for Libra, can I get a card for it, please? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, one, two, three, four. Let me get one more, please. One, two, three, four. All right. Seduction, attraction, teasing, hooking up and date, third party, and temptation. So it's someone that uh, could be... I don't know, maybe they're already in a relationship or they already have a marriage situation going on, okay? And they're trying to string you along in some aspect or have some kind of third party situation with you, okay? It's like you're trying to focus on yourself here and you have somebody else that is throwing you off, okay? So I would just be careful, okay? That's all I can say about that. Let's get Big Bubba Mac to clarify some of the situation for you, Libra, okay? I gotta shuffle the cards really quick, so it's gonna be a second. If you hold down the top right corner, it should speed up the video for you, okay? Because sometimes this gets a little old and a little boring, but trying to shuffle it in the traditional way is like really hard because the stack is too big, dog. The stack is too big, dog. All right. Dang, how many cards did I pull last time? 70,000? What's good with it? Oh, this is already boring. I fell asleep just now. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> All right, let's see what's good with it. Almost done, almost done, almost done. We got like three more. Maybe four. Yeah, one more. All right. Spirit guides, guide, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael, Big Bubba Mac. Show me the cards that I need to see for Libra today, please. One, two, three, four. Look inward. Yes, you're very much being guided to look inward here. What do you need to do, Libra? What do you need to do for you? Okay, what else for Libra today, please? One, two, three, four. Next, Mystic Red Rose card. Okay, so something about the Mystic Red Rose deck. Spirit wants you to see something about the someone in this reading. Could be you or someone that you're dealing with here, okay? It says, death. The relationship is over, no second chances. Grow and transform, what's dead is dead. Okay, this could be a past person here, Libra, okay? Past person trying to come back and seduce you or something like this, okay? It says, are they running or are you? Okay, you could be in a twin flame connection with someone here, Libra, okay? Twin flame connection, one person is the runner, one person is the chaser, okay? Incompetent, you could be dealing with someone that is just incompetent here, Libra. Okay, what else for Libra today? One, two, three, four. Trust your intuition. There is something here about your intuition that you need to trust, okay? Spirit's telling you that your intuition is on point with either a person or a situation or a dynamic or something here. This says dark. You could be dealing with someone of dark skin complexion or you are or something about a dark energy attachment on someone. Could be significant here. Might need to do some cleansing. One, two, three, four. It's too late to apologize, okay? It's too late for somebody to apologize here. This is looking more like a past person at this point, okay? Or someone that did you wrong in some aspect or another. You might be dealing with an Aries or someone that has Aries somewhere in their chart, okay? What else for Libra today? Your ancestors are protecting you from someone or something here, Libra, okay? What else for Libra today? One, two, three, four throat chakra something about your throat chakra could be significant someone might want to talk to you or you might want to talk to someone or they're trying to block you from talking i don't know something about throat chakra is significant one two three four they're thinking about you you have someone that is thinking about you okay what else for libra today one two three four it's not the end all be all okay so it's not the end all be all here libra okay 
Let's get it. What else for Libra today? Is there something you can do about it right now? If yes, go ahead and do it. If not, then don't worry about it, okay? What else? Guilt, someone could be feeling guilty. Someone might have done something wrong. You might be feeling guilty. Something about guilt is significant here. Let me get one more for Libra today. One, two, three, four. Should I stay or should I go now? Okay, you could be wondering if you're trying or if you should stay or go in a situation or someone's wondering this Libra, okay? All right, Libra, this is going to be the end of your reading for today. If this message resonated with you today, Libra, hit that like button at the bottom, share this video, subscribe to the channel, and please leave a comment in the comment section. I do read all my comments, okay? If you'd like to reach out to me for a personal reading, all the information about that will be in the description box below. And feel free to check out New Age Lifestyle Shop while you're down there. Got a lot of great things in the shop, okay? Be sure to come back next Thursday for another reading for myself for Libra, okay? I do Libra readings every single Thursday. Love you guys. Keep your head up. Keep moving forward. And as always, love yourself first. See you guys later.